Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And I am outside getting ready to do the video talking about the animal feed. I'm out here in the chicken pen, but I'm trying to secure this door because, well, Miss Kitty is right there. And why am I concerned about Miss Kitty? <laughs> Earlier today, I released a video showing you all just a quick video about this pigeon that just showed up here, right? And Uncle Tiger tried to get it. I got Uncle Tiger, Tiger. <laughs> tried to get rid of the pigeon. The pigeon wouldn't leave. And then Smoking Joe came. And so I called Bud and Bud came a running and that spooked the pigeon. So the pigeon flew away. That was two hours ago. Well, she's back. Look at her, she's back. Yeah. So I was coming out to do the video about the chicken feed. And as I was opening the door, I saw her. If you didn't see that video, I was showing you all where she has on leg bands, but she won't let me get close enough to her. I'm gonna see. Nope. Well, I tried. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so I'm gonna have to leave out of here because I don't think I have any more out here. But she's still here. And I'm afraid for this bird. I'm afraid for her because I don't want the chickens to get a hold of her. I forgot I took the bags to the barn. So let me try to get out of here. Close my gate back. I have to secure this gate like this because it helps to keep It helps to keep the chickens in and it helps to keep the door closed, keep it nice and tight. Even though I'm not worried about predators for them during the day, at night, I'm not worried about predators for them either, but I don't like for them to just be able to come in and out so, so much. That pigeon, I don't know what to say. I know she's here now because the food is there, but at first she was just walking with me in the garden. I'm just walking and there's Uncle Tiger. Hey, Uncle Tiger, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, follow me like you always do. Yeah, follow me. Don't hurt the pigeon. She ain't done nothing to nobody. That child don't know she in danger. Mm -hmm. I may I may try to shoo it away again but if anything it may just come back come on Uncle Tiger maybe Uncle Tiger will stay away alright y'all let me man maneuver us in this little barn here alright y'all so I'm going to talk about this feed here for a second I may have to raise us up some more alright I'm gonna actually move us back over here because I want y'all to see this feed. Now, remember a while ago, we had a problem with the feed, right? For our chickens, okay? Okay, we had a problem with the feed for our chickens. We were feeding them producer's pride chicken feed, okay? And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they had stopped laying and they hadn't laid for months. And we knew, we know, we know when they're going through their molting phase and that wasn't it. 
they had already done that so we started giving them navy beans to make them lay eggs again i told mr h we had one of those saws it's hanging up right here i know this ain't important but anyway <laughs> I told him we had one, but he got another one because he wasn't sure. But I told him we had one because we're trying to fix our plumbing thing, right? Remember I told y'all plumbing? But um, anyway, so we gave them navy beans and over a course of a few days, they started back laying eggs again, just with the beans, right? And then we switched feed and we switched where we were purchasing the feed from right so we no longer purchase our feed from tractor supply we purchase it from one of our local feed stores and initially when we were purchasing feed from them it was great right however over the last few months it hasn't been so good because it seems like every bag that we open like there's molded food in the bag you know and um what i was doing was you know as i would see it i would just take the big chunks of molded feed out you know and just kind of throw it away because you know you don't want to feed your chickens that you know you don't want to do that right so i was just throwing it out thinking that maybe the rest of the feed would be okay so that was the first time we ordered from them when we order our feed we don't have a lot of time that we have to that we have to kind of run back and forth to the feed store every week so we don't do that right we have calculated the amount of feed that we need to get us through for about four weeks and that's how we buy it so when we buy our feed and um our hay well this is hay for the winter for our goats right so we had to make sure we had enough and mr h he puts it in here to make it easier for me to access when i have to feed our goats we do have a location for the larger amounts of hay but for the smaller amounts of hay i think i have three bales here and this allows me to be able to access it easy enough to feed the goats their leaf of hay on a daily basis but back to the chicken feed we store all of our chicken feed in this barn um with the exception of what we put in their feed bins so when we get our feed in we will bring it into the barn we will pack it into these old freezers these are just some old deep freezers okay they do not work they're old we turned them uh, well, this one is a regular chest freezer. This one is an upright freezer that we turned on its back. And we used, of course, it doesn't have the racks in it, but we turned it on its back and we put our feed in. So our feed for our chickens, the feed for our goats, our turkeys, our quail, and the feed for, let me see, chickens, goats, turkey quail all of that feed is in here all right in these two freezers oh and our dogs grizz and moo right so but what we do is our trash can bins like this let me tilt you down and show you we bought these metal trash cans some of y'all remember these old school trash can bins I know I do from back in the day, <laughs> right? But anyway, we would take several bags of that feed and we would dump it into these bins. Now this feed, this bin already has feed Oh, y'all can't even see. Okay, come on down some more. So this can already has feed in it, all right? And this is the feed. 
right here that we were buying from our local feed store okay now what i'll do let me see i could find a bag for you i'm gonna show you the bag let me get a bag so y'all can see which kind it was Okay, so I don't know if there's supposed to be a difference here, okay? I really don't know. We were purchasing the Tucker Millings, right? Feed is what we were purchasing. Hey, you good? Okay. Came to see if I needed help? Did you come to see if I needed help? Oh, that was so kind of you. I fed all of the animals already, so we're all good. So you can play if you want to, okay? With your backer mobile. All right? I don't see you, right? Okay. Oh, I see you. You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So anyway, you all. <laughs> Thank you, young man. You always thinking about your grandma, aren't you? That's so sweet of you. I just love you. Give me a hug. Uh. Okay. So, you all, the Tucker Milling, this is the bag here. It says Farm Crest on the top. 16% poultry feed. Even has a date on the bottom. Now this is one of our most recent bags. This is the bags that we got last month in September, okay? And the date on this says August 23, right? So the bag is not like it's an old bag, right? But it says 16% poultry feed. So this is what we were feeding them. And when we would get that feed uh, here, and we would open the bag, dump it in the cans, literally like big clumps of molded feed would fall out. And I would just take that out and toss it. And it was like that in most bags. And I thought that was maybe just a one-time thing, but for the last four months or so, and we only get it once a month, for the last four months or so, it's been like that. So I told Mr. H, I said, well, Maybe we should let them know, right? That that's what's, you know, going on. So Mr. H told the gentleman that we get our fee from, he told him that that's been the issue, you know, just kind of give him a heads up, you know. But that last time I'm like, well, I don't know, maybe we should do something different, right? So here recently, I happened to meet one of our viewers, Mr. H and I were out and we were at a, um, a, f a place in Montezuma in Georgia, right? And I met a lady there, very nice lady, and she told me what she gets for her chickens, which was a little different, but it's by the same company. Mind you, our chickens have not laid eggs in months. Yeah. Now, I think we may have a double issue, actually. But I'll get to that in a minute, all right? So she told us what she has been purchasing for her chickens and where she was purchasing it from. So we decided since we were there that we would stop in to this place because it's time for us to get feed. Our chickens were down to the last... Mama? Yeah, babe. Miss that. Huh? Miss that. That's a really big saw. So you don't want to touch it because it's very, very sharp, okay? Okay. okay. That's big. Yeah, yeah. It's huge, actually. That's Pawpaw's. Okay, you all. So we were down to our last two bags of this. And I just didn't feel good about going and getting that same feet again. So I went to, she said, 
another name but when we got there the gentleman that helped us kind of let us know that well you know it's by the same company but it's different right so as you can see the size of these pellets uh oh you okay okay watch your step go ahead just watch your step okay so as you can see the size of these pellets right you can see pretty large pellets all right and what she recommended we get and we did get them and we got several bags as well it's still by Tucker milling however it's called show flock 22 is what it's called i threw them other bags in the trash this one still has feed in it but i'm gonna pick it up anyway so this is show flock 22 and this one is called show flock 22 because it's 22 percent protein this one was 16 percent protein okay which is what we've always used a uh, 16 percent that is no matter what feed we bought for our egg layers it's always been 16 percent unless it was a chick starter for our baby birds or something like that but otherwise it's always been 16 percent so now we're trying the tucker miller show flop layer 22 percent and this is for chickens ducks and geese this is um <clears throat> Not for your game birds, but like your turkeys and your quail. This is mainly for your chickens. Now, this feed, we were feeding it to our ducks as well. And Daisy hasn't laid an egg. <laughs> Daisy hasn't laid a single egg, you all. So, I'm going to tell y'all. I was very concerned because not that the Tucker milling product is not a good product. That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying that I think the feed having that mold and it wasn't just on one occasion. It was four consecutive months, even in our goat feed. When we opened a bag, um, that last bag of goat pellet that we put in. Even our goat pellet had molded chunks in it. So, of course, that started me to being concerned about um, how their feed was being stored, the age of the feed, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, it just kind of had me a little concerned. So, I told Mr. Age, I said, I'm not really sure if I want to go back there again. I think I would like to try another place, but I really don't know which place <laughs> so when we were in montezuma thank you so much to the beautiful lady who suggested that feed store in montezuma but we're gonna try this we're gonna try this it has 22 percent protein three percent fat four percent fiber all of this is on the bottom of the bag here and the pellet sizes let me show you the comparison this one i'm gonna grab so I'm out of here so you can hopefully see. Look at the size of this. Look at these little old bitty pellets. Mama. Look at that. Mama said that's a bean. Huh? Mama said that's a bean. What's a bean? See, there's she got it on it on it out out right there. Mm-hmm. Now she saw it. She saw it? Uh-huh. Okay. Thanks so much for telling me. I appreciate it. How fast? Thank you. Okay, so you can see the difference. These are very, very tiny pellets, right? Very tiny pellets. So, um, normally I would give my egg layers, I give them two of these scoops because of how many birds we have over there. I would give them about two of these scoops. These scoops both hold, what, two and a half quarts, I believe? or a little better than two quarts and we will give them two of these over here we have a larger laying flock right here and nothing so this time what i did with this right here 
they have a feeder it's a big chicken feeder and i literally filled it up it took me about four of these to fill it up and i put it in and i'm gonna do that for them for the next week or so just to see if it would make a difference if there was a deficiency somewhere um from the other feed maybe this will kind of help to sort that out you know and so yeah we're back again with a feed issue right wow and that's really something and when i say it's not just these birds remember the american breast which i'm about to do that video talking about them as well the breast chickens right so in any case none of them are laying eggs they are all eating the same thing right none of them not this flock not this flock none of them ducks included are laying any eggs okay zero so here we are again with a feed problem so you all we decided to try a new place now at the feed place that we would normally go to to get our uh tucker milling feed we've never seen this bag right here so this was new to me when i saw the bag in fact mr h and i both said oh we've never seen this bag <laughs> this <is> different <laughs> you know we've seen a lot of other you know feed from tucker milling but we didn't see this one at the place we normally would go to right so and it's it's you know, for us, we are always trying to, you know, make sure that our chickens are well taken care of because we depend on them. <laughs> we depend on them to give to us because we're spending money on feed for them, right? So, for the last few months, it's been us giving, 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 and not getting anything in return. And that's not a healthy relationship so what we have done is switched up their feed again now when we were talking to the gentleman at the feed store in montezuma um he was literally trying to call out a lot of things that could be the problem you know and he's like nope that ain't it nope that ain't it <laughs> well maybe it's a fox getting in there like nah that show sure ain't it <laughs> And no fox getting in there, you know, um, because you all know, you know, we typically have our chickens out during the day, but at night we put everybody up, right? We put everybody, Mr. H puts everybody up when he gets in in the evening time. So there's no fox, there's no weasel. In, in fact, if it was a weasel of some sort, he would kill my chickens, right? So it's nothing like that that's getting our eggs. And surely... It's not a snake because we would have seen it, but whatever it is, it couldn't possibly be going to this chicken house, taking all of their eggs and then coming over here to the barn where we have our other chickens at and taking all of their eggs. There's 20 something chickens over here. It's 20 something chickens over there. So what is he doing? Is he eating a few dozen eggs every night? <laughs> no. <laughs> So he was giving us some suggestions and um, no, nah, it was none of something just bit me. No, that wasn't it at all, you know. So really and truly, it was the feed. I don't know. Do you all buy this particular Tucker Milling? feed in this bag if so are you having any trouble with your feed we've even bought some in a green bag i'm gonna try to grab that bag hold on wait for me So the green bag was the goat feed, not chicken feed. 
But we did have another feed bag though. And I couldn't make out what was on it because I'm using those bags. They're paper, like so, yeah. That's the hay for the goats. So I'm using these bags, they're all paper, right? And I'm using these bags and I'm just laying them in my raised beds right now where I'm gonna put my garlic because, come on honey, come over here. I'm putting them on the beds where the garlic is because I don't want any weeds growing up through the holes where I'm gonna be planting my garlic. So I use these bags, I wet them down, put them in the beds and cover them to kind of smother out the weeds so that when it's time for me to plant my garlic, all I have to do is lift up the ground cover, fertilize the area, put it back down and plant my garlic, no weeding, right? So, but in any case, you all, if you all buy that particular bag of tucker milling with the farm crest on it, let me know. I'd love to know how you are doing with that feed. If you're in Georgia, middle Georgia particularly, are you using tucker milling? If so, where do you get it from? So far, this is my, let me see. Hold on, honey. I'm doing a video. Give me a second, okay? Uncle Tiger letting you care. Oh, that's, that's Snoops. You be carrying him like a baby. <laughs> he lets you. He just lets you drag him around. But anyway, y'all, this right here, we purchased this just a few days ago. We started using it Saturday, I want to say. So Saturday, we started using it. We emptied out the bins with the feed, with the old feed in the yellow bag. And actually, I'm going to take this out too, and I'm going to put all of this in the bin over with the meat birds over there and let them finish this off. And then I will fill this bin with my other bags of this right here and just dump it all in because then i will use this to feed these this the flocks on this side and i have bins over there as well that i used to feed my flocks on that side all right so y'all i just wanted to come to y'all real quick to talk about the new feed why we switched yeah in hopes that this would do a much better job. Again, this is the Tucker Milling Show Flock Layer 22 for your chickens, your geese, and your ducks. All right, y'all? All right, so y'all, that's going to do it for this video, all right? If you all are having issues with your current feed, whatever, post it in the comment section below. What do you think is going on with the feed? Do you think it's an ingredient that is possibly being used in the feed? and maybe you're not having any issues at all if so post it in the comment section below let us know what you're using to feed your chickens also i know many of you my god i feel like i'm looking up in the air i know many of you are mixing your own feed many of you are using black oil sunflower seeds um different types of grain uh, you may be using soaked lentils, right? Something like that. And I think that's a good idea too. You could post your recipes in the comment section as well. If you, if your recipe is tried and true, post your recipe in the comment section below of what you are mixing to feed your chickens. Okay. And it's working because you're getting plenty of eggs. We would love to know. All right. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, give our video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload to our channel. Thank y'all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Don't y'all tell Mr. H I had my glasses like this. They're supposed to be in my hip pack because my other pair broke. <laughs> Put them in my pocket.